Welcome to the Reptile House at London Zoo. As it's the Chinese New Year of the snake, we're going to go through a couple of species in the Reptile House and give you a bit of a fact file and a cool rating at the end. First snake on the list is our Burmese python. She is our biggest snake in the Reptile House. Her name is Bertha. Uh, she's around just over sort of 14 feet in length. They do get a lot bigger than this and she weighs around 50 kilos. They kill through constriction. They also have, an as an adaptation to catch their prey, a heat sensitive pits around uh, the front and top and bottom of their mouth. Um, and that's about a bit like a thermal imaging camera, uh, so they can locate their prey in low light levels. As she's that biggest snake in our collection, I'm going to give her a snake score of eight. So snake number two is the sidewinding rattlesnake. Uh, and the coolest thing about these guys is the way they move. Um, because it's so hot where they come from, um, they have to move in a sidewinding motion. And what that does is it's very few points of contact with the surface so they don't burn themselves basically. They're from southern western uh, America and they, they are camouflaged beautifully from where they're from. They come from deserts and semi-arid regions, they find them in rocky outcrops uh, and they, their camouflage is, is pretty impressive really uh, and they feed on small mammals. So because of the way they move and how well camouflaged they are in their environment I'm going to give them a snake rating of seven. Okay, so the third snake on our list is a very cool snake indeed. It's the King Cobra, and it's the world's largest venomous snake. Uh, records up to 18 feet. So the King Cobra is quite a widespread species, anything from sort of India across to the Philippines, and they all change in shape, colour and size. What makes this snake a very dangerous snake is the sheer amount that it injects when it, when it bites something. Um, it's not as toxic as something like maybe the Indian Cobra, but because of the, the amount it delivers, in a bite, it's a, it's a very dangerous snake indeed. So the venom is injected through short hollow fangs at the front of the mouth, um, a bit like a hypodermic needle. Um, the venom is neurotoxic, so it, um, it affects the nervous system. So the King Cobra, I'm going to give a snake score, as it's my favorite snake, a 10. So we're above the reptile house now in one of our project rooms, uh, looking at our next snake on the list, which is the Mangshan Viper. This viper is quite a large viper. It's considered one of the largest tree vipers in the world. Um, sort of records up to over two meters. Um, and the unique thing about this viper, it has a tendency to spit. So when we do deal with these animals, we wear goggles. It's a very unique venom as well. That we believe that there isn't actually um, an, a specific antivenom to cover this species. So we're using two different antivenoms from similar species to cover us. The Mangshang viper is our most endangered snake here. And we are actually working um, towards a conservation project with this species. They're a very unique snake from China that occupy uh, a very specific place in the Hunan province of China called the Manga Mountain. And there is believed to be sort of three to 500 animals in this area. Okay, taking into account um, how endangered this, this species is, um, I'm gonna give it a snake score of 11. 